And today's special guest is Sia. So I got two new hats, and I want to know which one you like better. This one, or this one. I like this one too. I'm ready for my call. Hi Sia. Hi Katie. You like my hat? Yeah, I like your hat. I have a, a special trick I'd like to show you. Is that cool? All right, yeah. how are you with loud noises? Um, I'm good. All right, we're gonna start with this balloon. And I am going to take this. Well, can you tell what this is from where you are? Um, an orange peel? It is an orange peel. So I'm gonna combine these two and do a little magic here. Keep your eye on the balloon. I'm gonna squeeze it. Do you see what I did with the orange peel? Looks like, ah! Did not expect that. Woo! Meant to just pop the yellow balloon, accidentally popped my hat. Woo. How does that work? It, it seems like magic, huh? There's actually, I don't know, have you ever squeezed an orange peel before? If you squeeze it, a little bit of liquid comes out, it kind of sprays out. And the chemicals in that make the rubber in the balloon weaker. And so then it pops. So it looks like magic, but it's actually science. Why do balloons pop? Let's find out. I was thinking of doing a balloon magic show. Wanna help me? Yeah. Let's try some balloon magic tricks. For our first trick, I am going to stand on this balloon without popping it. It's just a regular rubber balloon, and as you might know, it's pretty easy to pop a balloon. And I've never done this before, but we're gonna try it and see what happens today. All right, so I've got four balloons here, and I'm gonna place this table on top of them. And if you try this at home, make sure you have something sturdy to hold on to. If you try this, make sure you have a grown-up with you. And I'm gonna step on top of this table. What do you think's gonna happen? What do you think will happen? No hands. <laughs> they didn't pop. I could do this all day. I'm floating on the moon. So why did that work? Well, let's explore the super science behind this trick. Here's one of the balloons I was standing on earlier. What did you notice when I stood on top of it? Kind of squished, didn't it? Well, that's because this balloon's only partially inflated. It's not all the way blown up with air, so it has some room to squish. But what do you notice about this balloon? This one's a lot more full of air, a lot more inflated, and doesn't squish as much. So what do you think's gonna happen when I try to stand on this balloon? What do you think will happen? All right, you might wanna cover your ears for this. That was loud, and it definitely popped. Now let's try the squishier balloon and see what happens. Whoa. It's not popping. It's just super stretched out. All right, now let's check back in with Sia, who's going to do our next balloon trick. Sia. I've got a question for you, Sia. Do you think that you can poke something sharp through a balloon without popping it? It depends. Do you notice anything about the color of the balloon or about the rubber around the, the knot? Um, it's darker because it's a place where you tie it. You notice any other spots on the balloon where it's a little bit darker? Right here. Oh, excellent. Do you know why that is? Do you have an idea? Because there's more pressure. It's a little bit darker there because it's actually a little bit less stretched out. Do you have your mom nearby? You around? Um, yeah. Excellent. So what we are going to do is we are gonna try to stick this through the balloon or right where it's darker. <gasps> what happened? 
happened? It's in! Wow! Sia, that was so great! I'm so impressed! That was just, you were so, it was, what is it I want to say? I can't find the words, I just, I know what it is. Why did that work? Well, you stuck the skewer through the part of the balloon where the rubber was strongest. And why do balloons pop? Well, balloons pop when the rubber stretched too far. When the rubber is stretched thin, it isn't as strong and it'll pop easier. But if you poke a balloon in a spot where the rubber is stronger, it has room to stretch and doesn't pop. And now for a balloon magic show, where it looks like magic, but it's actually science. Featuring Sia, also known as the Great Wow Dini. For her first trick, the Great Wow Dini will stand on a balloon without popping it. Can she do it? For her second trick, the Great Wow Dini will show you the unpoppable balloon. Thank you for watching our balloon magic show of science. For our final trick, I will make this balloon disappear. Mega wow! This bro